Hello, everyone. Um, we are here um, to talk about North Star Digital Literacy um, and what resources are offered on um, their online learning platform. So my name is Elissa. I am the career coach here at um, NSC, um, and I'll go ahead and get started. So what is North Star? Uh, North Star uh, provides opportunities to assess and improve your computer skills. Uh, participants have opportunities to build skills as well as earn certificates and badges to mark their progress. Uh, North Star lessons detail the basic skills needed to use a computer and uh, the internet in many areas, such as um, academic and professional settings. So I'll um, turn this over to my colleague Olivia, um, and she can talk about how to register for North Star. Hi, great. Yeah, um, like Alyssa said, my name is Olivia, um, and to register for North Star, you just have to tell someone on the employment team um, that you are interested in doing North Star. Typically, that would be Elissa. So during your intake, she might ask you if you are interested um, in learning about digital literacy. Um, so if you are and you want to participate, she will send um, your email address to me and I will be able to set you up with an account. Um, and then in your inbox to your email, you should receive um, a message from North Star that will ask you to create a password. Um, and after you create that password, you will be able to log into North Star and you'll be able to start doing the lessons um, and start taking practice tests and then eventually other tests. Awesome. So yeah, pretty straightforward there. Um, so that's how you register. Um, and we'll keep moving forward. So there are two kind of basic things that um, you know, you're able to work on through digital literacy. So um, there's you, you take assessments or you can take uh, practice assessments and build your skills. Um, and there are 14 online self-guided assessments that measure mastery of basic computer skills. So uh, as a participant, you can receive certificates and or digital badges when you pass North Star assessments in a proctored environment, which we can talk more about that later. Um, Self-directed online and learning practice is also available for skills that you um, have yet to master. Um, and when you pass the North Star assessments, you can gain certifications. And this provides evidence of essential computer skills uh, and widens the scope of an individual's career opportunities. So this is just kind of an example of what you may see on the dashboard or, or main screen of the North Star website. So these are just three of the 14 modules that are available. Um, so you can see the topics are listed at the top of each box. So we have basic computer skills, internet and email. Um, in the circular rings below, um, the outer ring represents um, your uh, progress or tracks your progress as you take assessments um, in each for each module. And then the inner circular ring uh, tracks your progress with practice assessments. Now, this practice assessments aren't available for every topic just yet, um, but for the ones that are, um, this, this ring um, is, is able to be filled as you complete those assessments. Um, at the bottom, you have the take assessment tab that you see in each box. That will just take you straight to where you can go ahead and take an assessment for the module you are interested in. And then the details tab will just kind of give you more information on each module and what information is covered um, within um, that topic. So the content of each assessment provides a detailed overview of each module to ensure mastery of important digital literacy skills. Um, the lessons are interactive um, and some practice activities are available as well. As I mentioned, um, North Star ensures that each lesson is easily ac accessible uh, for participants. Now, this is just an example of something you may see on um, one of the assessments. Um, I just wanted to point out how um, it, they are interactive. So for example, in this assessment, you would need to click on um, the correct picture that you believe is, is, is the answer, and then you'd have to go to the bottom right corner and click next. Um, and I also just wanted to point out too, in the bottom left hand corner, you're able to track your progress within the assessment. So it tells you how many questions you've uh, completed and then how many you still have left to complete as well. 
So online learning through North Star is individualized and it ensures clear instructions are available for each assessment. Um, when the assessment is completed, participants can automatically see which topics they excel in and which topics they will still need to work on. So in this next screen, I went ahead and just kind of uh, showed this is exactly what will pop up when you finish an exam. So you'll be able to see the score that you received. Um, I believe you need an 85 or an 87 to pass the uh, assessment. And then on the right here, you have options. You could click to go back to the North Star um, kind of homepage. You could claim your virtual badge or you could print your results. Um, at the bottom, you could see which skills you mastered within this exam, so areas where you did really well and you showed that you know that skill um, you know, very well. Um, and you can still practice um, here on those skills if you'd like. And then on the right, there's the skills that you might need to improve on and uh, you know, some questions you may have gotten wrong. And there's also practice links there as well. So you can just go straight into practice activities for those. Now uh, we'll talk about proctored versus non-proctored testing. Um, a proctor is typically someone who um, is present um, while you're taking an exam just to make sure no outside resources are utilized in order to, to um, get answers for the exam. Um, and so uh, in order to get a certificate um, after you take an assessment, um, you must pass a proctored test in the module that you desire. So this means that you must request a special proctor code or join a proctored test. Um, and you can request a proctor code by emailing the proctor, which would be Olivia, who spoke earlier. Um, and then once a participant passes and completes a proctored assessment, they're eligible for um, a certificate based on the score that they receive. So this is just kind of an example of the assessment um, tab in the website. So these um, are all of the 14 assessments listed that you can take on Northstar. Um, and you can see here um, it says no proctor available, but one, when a proctor is available, you can request to have them join an exam so you can get a certificate if you're ready for that. Um, alternatively, you could also enter in a proctor pin um, or, or code that you get from Olivia um, or your proctor, and, and you can put that in here um, and start taking a proctored test that way as well. So just a little bit of more information on the certificates. You can choose to receive one certificate per completed assessment or you may choose to receive a certificate listing all completed assessments at once. So I think that's kind of nice because if let's say that you feel like you understand the email assessment pretty well and you don't really need to have that on a certificate to kind of prove that you can do well there, you could, you know, maybe you wanted to go uh, take an exam for Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and you wanted those on a certificate together. You could choose to have those together instead of every single exam that you take on North Star. So I thought that was helpful as well. And um, certificates can be obtained by emailing the proctor and requesting them. An example of uh, what the certificates look like. So as I mentioned earlier, you, you can have all of the um, modules in one certificate if you prefer, or you can kind of pick and choose and just have one um, there as well if you you know have a specific um, area that you want a certificate in. So we're going to go ahead and jump on the website just to kind of give a little tour so you can see just kind of how everything works from that standpoint. So we'll go ahead and log in. And there are physical testing locations available for North Star, but we're just doing this virtually at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and click no for this question. So this is kind of the main screen where all um, of the modules are listed. So all 14 of them, you have basic computer skills, internet, email, Windows, and then the Mac operating system. You have Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Docs. And then you have social media, information literacy, career search skills, uh, and your digital footprint, and then K through 12 distance learning. So um, again, the outer ring is tracking your progress with the assessments. The inner ring tracks your progress with um, your um, 
practice assessments. And then again, those are not available for every uh, topic. So if, for example, information literacy does not have lessons developed yet. So this ring will always be empty until those practice assessments are developed. But there are quite a few of the topics that do have practice assessments available. Um, now, if you want to take an assessment, you can get to the assessment page um, from one of two ways. So you could either click take assessment in the box of the module you desire or up at the um, toolbar here, you could click take assessment and get to the assessments that way. So this is what that screen looks like. We kind of already um, ended up uh, looking at that earlier, but every one of the 14 modules are listed here. And just to kind of give you an idea of how this works, if you were to click on one of them, you'll hear some music. And the music's just checking your audio to make sure that you can hear. Um, and then this uh, orientation video will pop up just to kind of give you an idea of how um, North Star works and what you can expect in the assessments. Um, I would recommend watching that one time. You don't need to watch it every time because it does pop up for every test. Um, so once you've watched it once, you can go ahead and skip that when you're ready to take your exams. Um, and just to kind of show you for the um, proctored part of the exam, um, up on the right hand corner, that will show you whether the test is proctored or not. So if you are not in a proctored test, it will show up as orange and there will be a red X and it will say not proctored. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you how to um, enter into a proctored test so that we are clear on that. So there are two um, options there. You could either click join proctor mode and wait for you know, that to be approved and a proctor to be available. Or you could click validate computer via PIN and enter in a PIN uh, that your proctor provides for you. You hit authorize. And then this whole line here will turn green and it will let you know proctor mode is on. Um, and just to show you what that looks like within the exam as well. So in the top right hand corner, now it says proctored and you have a green check mark there um, just to kind of, uh, you know, let you know that you are um, in proctored mode. And if you do pass this assessment in proctored mode, that is when you are able to get a certificate. Um, and again, you can reach out to your proctor and they can email that to you so you can print it out. Um, and if you're finished using proctor mode, you can just hit end proctor mode. And you can go back to practicing assessments as you uh, desire. Um, I guess just lastly here, um, if you want to get back to kind of the home screen of North Star, you can click on your name and go to North Star Online Learning. And it will take you back to this dashboard uh, main screen area. And um, that is my concluded tour of North Star. So um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to myself, Elissa, or um, Olivia, and um, we'd be happy to direct you in any um, you know, direction that you need. So thanks for joining.